Hello friends, I'm here to give you some information regarding using Google Meet for distance learning and some ways that you can help keep things a little more secure. I had created a video earlier this week on safeguards and actually those are kind of out the door if you are a Google Classroom user. So if you're a Google Classroom user, you're in good shape. This is going to really be helpful. And so I really appreciate these updates that Google is doing to this product. Uh, because it is really stepping up to the plate as far as meeting teacher needs. Okay, so what I'm going to show you is, and this is really important, when I go to the settings in a Google Classroom, you now have the capability of posting a Google Meet link dedicated to that classroom. And this is specifically for each classroom. So you notice, I don't know if you saw it the first time, but there was actually a link right here. And there was actually a Meet link here. You didn't see that. And I'll show you what happens when I go back to the settings and turn that back on. And what's cool is when you turn this on, it becomes visible to the student as well as you as the teacher. So you now have a dedicated link for Google Meet here and here. Either one works. All right, so I'm going to switch to my student screen here. And the student has this link as well. And then when the student tries to get into it, even though it's posted, when the student tries to get into it, it says the meeting code you entered doesn't work. Okay, so therefore it means that they cannot get into the meeting unless the teacher is running it at that time. When the teacher is in and ready to go and clicks on it, even if they don't even go into it completely, if they're here, the student can get in at that point. So I'm going to go ahead and mute my microphone here because you're going to get an awful screechy noise if I don't. And that makes everyone miserable. So I'm going to go ahead and hit join now. All right. And I'm in and I'm running. Switch to my student screen. Here's my student screen. I'm going to click on the link. I'm going to hit join now. All right, so now I'm in. You're doing your lesson. What's nice is some of the updates that Google has done. Now I'm back in teacher mode. Google allows you to record. Uh, and not only that, but if you follow the settings that Eric Kurtz had posted, which I'm going to put in the description of this video, Eric Kurtz did a video for tech departments, things that they need to do because now they can make it that students cannot record because this is a student screen. And I'm back on the teacher screen here, but teachers can. So you can make it so that way uh, students do not have that capability. Something else that Google did was they made it that the presenter can mute people and remove them. And they made it that those that are visiting cannot remove or mute the presenter. At one time, you could mute the presenter, and that wasn't such a good thing. So I'm glad that Google made that change. It was very nice of them. Okay, so now that the session is all over, what I have noticed, and this is a little catch, so you want to make sure you take care of this as well. There is a short period of time. Let's say the teacher is done, says, okay, we're done with our Google Meet. There is a short period of time that the student would be able to still get back in, in with that link. So just keep that in mind. It's probably best that the teacher makes sure that everyone leaves and goes ahead and removes everybody like so. So I'm going to remove that student. And the fake student is kicked out and then the teacher is going to leave and we'll see what it does here. I'm going to go back to the student. I'm in student screen here. I'm going to click on the link. Let's see if it lets me in. Because I've had a few times where it actually did work. See, I'm back in. There's a short period of time there where the student can still get back in and I don't know how long that lasts. And I'm not sure why that is. It's probably something that Google is still working on. But here's a way that you can safeguard against that if that happens. So here's what the teacher needs to do. After a session is over, what is best is if the teacher goes in, goes down to their meet session, goes to the menu here, and hits reset. And by doing that, you get a new code. And the code that was available previously is no longer active. Okay, so by doing that, you are safeguarding your class. And now when the student goes in there, the code changes. And the student can't get in to this meet session because the code was changed 
and that one is no longer active. And it won't be active until the teacher actually clicks on the new code. So now the teacher is in. Even if I stay here, it'll still work for the student. Here's the student screen. And the student's able to get in because I'm waiting. Essentially, this is the Google Meet lobby, so to speak. Okay. So just an, a nice update by Google. Thought you all should know that this is available through Google Classroom. So I'll recap that really quick. First off, you need to make sure that in your settings of your Google Classroom, go down to the Meet, make it visible to students. After you run your session, make sure you go back to the settings and reset your code. So that way the students can't get into it and be in your Google Meet sessions when you are not present. I hope this information was super helpful to all of you. Have a great day.